Poshmark, what a great idea where you can start selling all your clothing and probably you're gonna make even more money than selling on eBay. A lot of people is saying that it's so easy to sell on Poshmark that there is no hustling with shipping at all. You don't have to wait anything and it's simple to send to your customers. So how much is true in all this that you can start your own business selling on Poshmark and make tons of money? Let's find out. Max Profit here guys and welcome to my channel. What I'd like to talk today is about Poshmark. Why Poshmark? Because recently I heard so I watched so many great videos about Poshmark, how good Poshmark is, and that you can make so much money over there. And some people even saying that it's better than eBay because you can get more money for your item on Poshmark than on eBay. How simple is this? Because the shipping, it's, it's, it's easier than on eBay. You don't have to wait nothing. So I decided I have to do video because a month ago we start selling on Poshmark. And because when you get all those videos from everywhere about the Poshmark, how great it is and how much money you can make over there, you be fool if you're not gonna jump into that and start making money as well, right? Especially you can do cross posting, like from eBay, put item on Poshmark. So why not? And if you have a lot of items on eBay, it just makes sense if you're gonna choose the right item, you know the expensive item, and you're gonna do cross posting, then over there is gonna go like butter, really easy, right? So that's what we start doing. So, of course, I was watching a lot of videos on YouTube about Poshmark and we start doing cross-posting from eBay to Poshmark. We start following the people, like almost like Instagram, right? So, right now, we follow almost 12,000 people, 12,000, and we have around 7,000 followers, 7,000. Right now, we have around 300 items in our store. But this number is gonna go up and down. Um, because this is everything from eBay. So from eBay, there. Um, and after one month, after one month with 6,000 followers, right? And 12,000 people we follow, we made, guess what? How many sales? And again, on eBay, we do, because we have 2,300 items, clothing items on eBay, we sell a day from 10 to 20 items per day, every single day. So I thought that if we're gonna bring great stuff, what we have expensive stuff on, um, on eBay, if we're gonna cross post to Poshmark, the sale is gonna go easy right so that's what we did and after one month after one month we do 15 sales a day sorry a day not a day total 15 sales after one month we did only 15 sales so 15 sales after one month is nothing and a lot of you who are selling on Poshmark, you're gonna tell me, yes, but you have to share another people's stuff and you have to, you know, uh, follow more people and all this. That's true. I'm not going against Poshmark. I'm not against to selling on Poshmark because I'm selling there as well. Reality is, if you think that this is like eBay, where you have your stuff and you do promoting listing and then you're just waiting when somebody's gonna come buy your stuff and you're just gonna ship your stuff. This is not true at all. On Poshmark, you actually have to, piece by piece, you have to share your items to your followers. And usually they are home, let's say around seven o'clock night. So from seven o'clock to share 100 items, 100 items, it's gonna take you, of course, a little bit less than one hour, right? 
but it's going to be somewhere there. So more items you have, longer it's going to take you to share. So if you have a 300 items, it could take you three hours just to share your items. And that's going to be, let's say, from 7, if you're going to start at 7, until 10 o'clock. Let's say you still go to work and you want to do Poshmark, you know, after work, similar to eBay, right? You're not going to wait when customers going to come and, and, and find you. You have to share your item on Poshmark. So it's going to take you three hours. So when you get home, if you do not have a kids, right? You're going to probably just eat your dinner and then jump on your phone or your computer and start sharing your stuff because otherwise you're not going to make any sale. Okay? So what we were doing for all month, we share our stuff on Poshmark, of course. Uh, and we follow the people. But there is so much work that takes so much time, right? That it's impossible to do something else. Like have a normal life. Poshmark is not business like eBay. Not even close. And I would say it's terrible business. If you want to just put your stuff and this is it. You have to share your items. Otherwise, you do not have a sale. For example, on eBay, on eBay, we see our items all the time. When we put, let's say, J. Crew or... or Banana Republic, for example, we see our stuff. We can see our items for sale over there. You know, 200 items and we always find our item there. On a Poshmark, when we put exactly same, Banana Republic, let's say, T-shirt, medium, there is no way we can find our items. Nothing is there. Nothing at all. It's just nothing there. We can find our stuff. Pictures wise, right? Some people are gonna say you have to do good pictures and that. I know that. I know that. Because we are selling on eBay 15 to 20 I 10 to 20 items a day on eBay. Every single day. Our sale, our sale on eBay is around ten thousand dollars monthly. Our sale. Right? It's a lot of clothing over there. So we know what kind of picture we should do. I'm just saying, but probably we don't do enough those kind of sharing, like share another people items. So actually you have to go to, doesn't matter, a lot of those people and you share the item. You don't, you don't like it, those items, what they have, because you don't like it. They just put over there, but you share no matter what, because this is what it takes to share another people items. So they share your items. You know, so if somebody is following, let's say, 30,000 people, right? And those people share their item. So in the store, they're going to go like really fast. Pop, 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 because they share their item on their store. So it's like, it's a crazy, it's a madhouse. So if you think that you're just going to put item over there and forget about, it's not, that's not going to happen. So again, I'm not against the Poshmark. The problem is, it's not easy and it takes so much time it's gonna it's gonna eat you poshmark you will i feel like we are slave to poshmark because you still have to do those party right it's a four times a day party imagine you still go to work right and just because it's party at at, at three o'clock let's say it's some kind of jeans party you have to be there and start sharing your items so what kind of life is that? So you home waiting for party and then you jump on a Poshmark and start sharing your items. Or you do shopping, let's say, and let's share some items because now it's a party. Are you kidding? I rather pay like eBay my promote when I promote my listing, I rather pay them, get them, give them cut, let's say a dollar. But I'm not worried about it. I can go somewhere out and my out my items, they still sell but on poshmark you have to share 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 what well, that's not the life this is not a business you slaving you are slave to poshmark again we have a good items we have a good items. the problem is we do not share enough share our items right we follow a lot of people we don't share so much because if you want to post let's say you do full-time 
Because a lot of people, they want to do full-time or they already doing eBay full-time and you want to start a Poshmark like we did, right? So imagine every day what we do daily, we post like 40 items, clothing, 40. So when we do 40 items a day, it's going to take us, not just, uh, this is not me, right? It's my wife. She's doing that. I'm, I'm sourcing stuff. I'm out of house. I'm not home. So it, it's going to take her around eight hours to clean everything, right? Do the pictures and post around eight hours, 40 items, right? So imagine after eight hours, after eight hours, and you, when you do Poshmark, in those eight hours, there is so many parties, you still have to go on those parties and start sharing your stuff. So, uh, because it's a party. So no more pictures, jump there and start sharing your items because it's a party, right? And then at seven o'clock night, right? Let's say you, 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 you start at eight o'clock, eight hours, four o'clock, you're gonna decide that you're gonna go work out, right? You're gonna go to gym and then you wanna do some shopping, you can't be too long because then you have to get home, right? And you have to start sharing your stuff on Poshmark because a lot of people get home, so start sharing. 300 items, it's going to take you probably a few hours to share those 300 items because you have to go on each item, scroll down and share and scroll up and share. So look what you got to do. It's not like the bulk. Like I would like to, if it's like the bulk, you got 300 items, share everything. One, one, one thing, just press one button and you're going to share 300 items. That'd be nice. But go one by one by one and share, share, share. This is ridiculous. So you want to become slave or you want to make money? This is not, to me, this is not a business. To me, the, to do business, it's you set up, you work, of course, but you're not becoming slave. You have to have, you know, of course, you gotta work, you gotta hustle, but is this real hustling or it becoming slave to Poshmark? Again, some people they like it because it's similar to Instagram. It's like the Instagram, very similar. So probably some people like to give a likes to another people, so they give them likes. But for me, give a like to something what I don't like at all, it's just stupid. I don't like this kind of this kind of work, right? Give a like to pictures so I can get a like from them. That is just, that is just, it's just not me, right? If I don't like some item, how I'm gonna share to another people, right? Just because I wanted them to share, I'd rather pay, I, I would love, I would love if, if Poshmark's got something similar like eBay, like promoted listing. So you just pay them, let's say 50 or $100, you know, and they do this kind of work for you. So you just put your item there and forget about it. That'd be nice. But do those party. And then if they have a party, let's say, and it's a makeup party, you cannot put jeans over there. It's a makeup. Or let's say it's a jeans party. You cannot put their t-shirt because it's a jeans party. And then if it's a Tommy Hilfinger and you do not have any Tommy Hilfinger jeans or shirt or whatever, or Ar let's say it's an Armani party or high-end clothing, you cannot put their Banana Republic because it's Armani or stuff like that. So, you know, <laughs> this is terrible. So if you like Instagram, if you like Instagram and be there all the time and share and give a like to the pictures, Poshmark is going to be good for you because this is this kind of lifestyle. Be on the phone and give a likes, likes, likes and share if you like this kind of lifestyle. But if you like me, go hustle for, you know, eight hours then go to gym and then do something else, then definitely Poshmark is not for you. After one month, we sold 15 items. One month, 15 items. Every day, every day on eBay, we sell 10, 20 items. Do we get less money? Yes, a little bit less money, of course, but I don't have to deal with sharing and all this thing around which doesn't make sense for me. I want to build business. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be slave. Or I'm going to pay somebody 
to follow the people and share the items and all this, right? So this is Poshmark. So guys, it's up to you. I'm not saying that Poshmark is bad, but you really need to figure out what you want from your life. If you want to live your life or become slave to some website or some platform where you can make money. That's the difference. Again, I'm not against Poshmark. Some people like it. Some people love it. But if you do sport, imagine you go out and, and again, if you're not going to share your items, if you're not going to share your items, you're not going to make sales at all. Because somebody has to find your item somewhere there, right? So if you're not going to share your items, there is no promoted listing there, you're not going to make sales. So imagine you want to go out for the weekend, right? Saturday, Sunday, and you do only Poshmark, right? You're not going to make any sale if you're not going to share your items during the weekend. So is this what you want? Because this is, that's kind of businesses. So if somebody is saying it's better than eBay, there is just no way it's better than eBay. Not even close better than eBay. Not even close. Maybe later on, if they're going to do something like promoted listing, yes, then I'm going to jump. I'll be more than happy to be there. Otherwise, forget about. Okay, guys, this is my video. Max Profit. And see you by next time.